Hello and welcome to your 12th Django tutorial. In today's tutorial we are um, going to look at the difference between function based views and class based views. Now I'm going to give you a heads up. This tutorial might be a little bit lengthy and the reason being we're first going to write a function based view and then we're going to change it to a class based view so you guys can see the difference. Um, now there's a great debate out there uh, in Django um, where some developers say hey you should use class based views others say hey use flash, uh, function based views um, I'm right in the middle all right and what I base my rules are, are on are is there a generic class based view because there is generic class based views like list detail um, so there you have uh, uh, some generic views create it for us in uh, when you use classes it speeds up your development now um, my big complaint is uh, when it starts getting a little complicated where uh, I might have to change the source code of the class based view or um, there's too many moving parts in the view then I'm going to go to a function based view um, if I don't know which one to go with, I'm going to go with a function based view. And the reason why I go with a function based view is I believe it's easier to read and understand versus a class based view. Now, um, whatever one you use is up to you. Uh, there's no right or wrong answer here. So, whatever you feel comfortable using. So, in this tutorial, like I said, we're going to look at a function based view and then we're going to look at a class based view. In the previous tutorial, we created a function based view. And the reason I chose a, func uh, a class based view, or I mean a function based view, um, is because I'm not 100% sure where we're going with the home page. I'm not 100% sure what we're going to need for the home page. So, it was a little bit easier to just do a function based view and then um, build off that because class-based views if you write the class-based view extending it sometimes might get a little difficult so you know I kinda wanna open keep it open to what we're gonna do I'm not 100% sure where we're going so in this tutorial we're gonna look at both of them and hopefully give you a better understanding of what's going on and um, give you some insight maybe you can make a decision on what you use for your uh, site but it doesn't matter you can use either one or you can use them together uh, so but one thing to keep in mind all views are function based all right just keep that in mind uh, classes just extend the function um, and the source code is written in functions so all right let's get started um, let's go ahead and close out some of this stuff here we don't need the views for uh, master we don't need home uh, we're going to need URLs at some point here so go ahead and open up your t tutorials uh, directory and open your views and like I said the first one we're going to write is a function based view so for us to write a view in a function we need to use uh, get object 404 because we're doing a de detailed page we want to get that object um, for example uh, machine learning uh, if we're, we want to get machine learning we're going to have to use get object 404 so we're going to import that here get uh, object or 404 and what this does is it either finds the object which for example machine learning if not it's going to return a 404 all right. Uh, next thing we need to do is import our model. So from dot models import tutorial series like that. Okay, and then we're going to create our our function based view. So to create a function, we do d d e f, and then we're going to do a tutorial series detail like this, and we're going to say request. So the request the users. When he visits your um, your uh, site or your URL, he's requesting something or she's requesting something, and then we're going to give another argument: slug is equal to slug. All right, because it's um, an object. So how do we decipher what object we're getting? We're going to use the slug to decipher that, and that's based on the URL as well. All right. So the next thing we're going to do is object is equal to. Now, since I'm going to show you how to use class based views in this in a little bit here um, I'm just using object normally 
I would say uh, I would name this tutorial series because I like to give my variables a meaning. But uh, when you see when we get to class-based views, uh, our variables are going to be called objects. So um, trying to keep, I was trying to keep them so we don't have to change the HTML around at all because I want us to focus on the views. So get underscore object 404, and then we're going to put in here our model, so tutorial series. And then we're going to put our um, our argument, which is going to be our slug, all right, to decipher our object. So slug. And then we're going to come down and we're going to do a template. And we're going to set that equal to um, whatever we, we're going to do tutorials. And then tutorial series, no, no space or underscore or anything like that. And then underscore detail detail.html and the reason why I didn't put an underscore here is because when we work with the class based view it's gonna go ahead and look for this itself alright it's gonna automatically find the HTML document so we're just gonna create our function to uh, prepare us also for the class based view alright so then we're gonna do context is equal to and uh, curly brackets and then in here we're just gonna do a string object and then colon, and then object. All right, so this is our context, and then comma. And then we're gonna return, we've seen this before, return render, and we're gonna do request template context, just like that, all right? So cool, all right, so we got a function-based view set up. Uh, this shouldn't be slug equals slug. It should just be slug, all right? And then we're we're checking the slug down here, all right? Sorry about that. Uh, I got a little ahead of myself. Anyhow, now we got a function-based view, and this is going to display our detail, all right? So the next thing we should probably do is set up the URLs. So let's go ahead and go to our URLs. And in here, first off, we need to import the the uh, URL function. So we're going to do from Django uh, conf and then URLs import URL. All right. And then we got to import our view. So from dot views. No, actually, let's do from dot import views. All right. Then we're going to do uh, URL patterns. And it's going to be a uh, list. All right, and then we're going to do uh, URL, and then in here we'll do uh, our regrex, so R, and then a string, and then we're going to use a caret to indicate our URL up to a certain point, which I'll show you shortly, and we'll do series for a tutorial series. And then we're going to do a forward slash. And now we're going to add our slug argument in here. So um, parentheses, question mark, P. And then we're going to add the variable of slug. All right. And then uh, square brackets. And then inside the square brackets, we're going to do minus backslash W. And then we're going to do plus and parentheses forward slash dollar sign all right um so basically we're just setting up a slug uh variable here so say we went to series machine learning so it'd be machine learning uh with a hyphen and that would be our slug all right uh next thing we need to do is add our view so we're going to just do views dot uh what did I call the view? Tutorial series detail. Tutorial series detail. Like that. And comma. And then we got to give it a name. All right. And then we're going to do tutorial series detail once again. All right. And you may be wondering, why do we give it a name? Well, we're going to use that shortly for our link from our button. If you go to your models real quick and you look at tutorial series, Right here we put tutorial series detail. So this is how reverse finds which URL it's referring to. All right. So back to our URLs. 
that's set up correctly. Let's go ahead and set up our URLs in our main um, master here because we need to let it know where to find our um, our new URLs uh, file. So what we're going to do is um, we're going to use include to, I don't think we said that yet, um, include function to include our uh, new URLs file. So include right here. And then right below our URL home, we're going to do URLs, then our regrets again. And we're going to do, um, <laughs> how should we do this? Let's just do tutorials like this. And so now it's going to be our website domain name, tutorials, forward slash series, forward slash the name of our series or the slug. All right. We'll see this uh, once we get this all set up here. Comma. Then we're going to do include. And then in here we're going to do a string. And then we're going to say tutorials uh, dot URLs. All right. So go to tutorials app and then go to that urls.py file and we're going to give it an app name so we'll say app name and that's going to be tutorials and then we're going to give it a namespace and that's going to be tutorials as well all right there we go and recently a comment at the end here that all looks good um, one last thing we need to do is create our HTML. So let's go ahead and do that for our details, pa our detail page. So let's go to um, your templates. Inside your templates, create a dictionary, and we're going to call this uh, tutorials. This is going to hold all our um, HTML files for our or our temp um, tutorials app. Go ahead and create a new file, and we're going to call this one tutorial series uh, low, um, underscore detail dot html and in here first thing we need to do is extends base because we wanted to extend base so extends uh, string base dot html and close it out with our uh, percentage symbol and curly brace and next thing we want to do is display uh, block content because we want to display our content in our base uh, where the block content is block content and then close that out and then let's go ahead and just throw an m block in here before we get crazy m block All right, um, to make this really easy, let's go ahead into our home.html real quick. Because I don't want to, I really don't want to code this in HTML. So we're just going to copy our Jumbotron. Oops. Oops. And now I just screwed everything up. Back up to refactor. Hold on real quick. And I'm just going to run our code. Uh, I can just say command Z. Oh, let's do that. All right, anyhow. Let's go ahead and copy this and let's go into our tutorial series detail, paste that in. All right, and this is going to be kind of the design of the top of our detail page. Now, if you go back to your views real quick, uh, you notice we called it object. All right, so we want to be able to call our um, object. So we're going to do object and then the name of our uh, model field to get that information inside of two curly braces. So let's go to tutorial, the tutorial series detail. And in here, to get a variable, you do two curly braces. And then we're going to say object dot, uh, what is name is the name. Should have just called it title. I don't know why I did that. Now let's go ahead and just save that to make sure we're you got everything working. So go to your uh, your server's running. If not, run your server. Python manage.py run server. And you go to your home page. And hold on. Before we do that, um, instead of typing all our URLs in here, let's make these buttons work so we can uh, actually uh, just click on them and go to where we want to go. So um, in here, um, 
What the hell? There we go. In here, we're going to add a URL uh, template tag. So, curly brace, URL, and then um, let's make sure I get this right. Uh, am I doing this in a no, I'm not doing this in a reader. That's what I was looking for. It's got to go down here. So it's got to go in where we created our um, our for loop for our tutorial series. So what we're going to do is now we're going to put the curly brace percent symbol and then URL and then a string. And then we're going to say tutorials colon tutorial uh series right is that what we called oh, hold on now i'm just confusing myself once i get thrown off tutorial series detail the name is tutorial series detail and that's what i was looking for uh and then underscore detail and then close out that string and then we're going to say item and where am i getting item well items in our for loop here all right so each object we want to get the item and then we're going to say dot slug like this and then uh percent symbol curly brace Alrighty, so that looks good let's save that and go back to our home page and refresh all right so we've got our Let's figure out what is going on here. Don't worry. Yeah. Module. Bum, bum. I'm looking for what is going on. It does not appear to have patterns in it. You'll see that patterns in the file. Then the issue is probably caused by circular import. Um, tutorial series. Tutorials. We call it tutorials, right? Tutorial series detail. Okay. Uh, we got to close out this string right here. I don't think that's our error, though. Item.slug. Uh, let's look at our URLs, so master URLs. Let's make sure this is correct. Tutorials. Include tutorials dot urls app name tutorials namespace tutorials that looks good and then in here URL patterns We're gonna do series I'm sorry I'm just trying to find our our Views, tutorial series, detail, name, tutorial series, detail, and then into our models, tutorials, tutorial series. Um, you know what, kill your server real quick. You might not even have this, or it might just be me. Let's see what it does here. URL URLs. To include URL conf module to a source. What do you mean it doesn't appear to have any patterns in it? Uh, I spelled patterns wrong. There is our issue. Uh, are you going to refresh for me, or am I going to have to kill the server and rerun it? There we go. See? Spelling errors all the time. If I could spell, my life would be so much easier. Anyhow, there we go. Now, if I click on View Details, it should take me to the template page. Bang! There's our uh, detail page. I say not template page. All right, so here's our, 
our detail page, all right? So let's look at the URLs real quick because I kind of like jumped around on them because it's easier to explain it when you're looking at it. I'm going to bring in my text editor here. I'm just going to slide it down here so we can see both. All right, so here's our URLs. Let's go to our master URLs first and look at what's going on here. All right, so we created two tutorials, all right? So tutorials, and this is going to go ahead and... Um, take us to the urls.py file within our tutorials app. All right, so you see this tutorials, and that's the first section up here tutorials. All right, and then it's going to go on to our tutorials. Uh, our urls.py file, and you're going to see series. All right, now we got series, so that's our urls, our, our slug for series. Uh, then we go into introduction to Python. All right, so you see the forward slash, and then we got the argument here. So if you're using slug, you could use ID if you like, or you can uh, use other um, uh, fields if you like. Um, but we set ours up for slug because slug is not only easier for users to remember, but Google likes it. So we always try to make Google happy. Um, so let's see, we got our slug, and then it, once the user hits this URL, all right, they hit this URL tutorial series introduction to Python. Uh, then it's going to say, oh, this match is here. Well, let's go to the views. So it goes to the views tutorial series detail inside our views.py file. All right, it comes here and it says, okay, what are we going to display back to the user? And we said, hey, object's going to represent a object from the database, and it's either get the object or return a 404 message. So, if I went and put one in here, all right, we don't have a slug to match that. We get page not found 404, all right? Now, if we had a 404.html file set up, it would show that, but since we don't, it's just showing us the debug page. So, let's go back to that. And hit enter. Like I said, this tutorial is a little longer than usual. Um, so the slug, uh, once it hits tutorial series to get the object, the slug, it's going to look for the slug and match the slug. If it doesn't have it, it returns 404. All right. Then we got our templates. We talked about this before. We're just displaying an HTML document. And then the object is our context that basically is how we make it dynamic uh, in the HTML file uh, in here object all right and then we just uh we're, where were we views and then render we render a page and then uh take the request as an argument template and context so let's go back to our tutorials dot, uh underscore detail and let's fill out the rest here um first one being um take this out we're gonna need a description right because that's one of our um, fields here. So we got description. So we'll do a description. We'll do a, a variable object dot description. All right. Um, and we can take out this button because we're not going to need a button here. Uh, next thing I want to do is let's add one more paragraph tag here. And this paragraph tag, oops, no, I'll fix that in a second. Um, we're going to say the knowledge level. The knowledge level has to do with our experience level. Uh, we're going to say experience level, like this. All right, and we're going to go ahead and put our variable here. So object dot uh, student experience like that and let's go ahead and just refresh and make sure we didn't screw anything up so far there we go and you see we got a lot of content here um yeah, that works whatever we'll keep that for now experience level didn't come through what's our mo did i spell the model right student experience why did I write it like that? We're gonna have to change that, but for right now, 
I don't know. That shouldn't be written like that, but I was probably demonstrating how not to write things and left it like that. Anyhow, we'll put that in like this for now. I'll change that shortly. Otherwise, we'll have to migrate the database and everything else. So, for right now, let's just say this is our page here. Um, I want to kind of jump in the class-based views because it's getting a little long. As you can see, beginner now came up. Um, let's go ahead and change our views and our URLs to handle a class-based view. Um, and then we'll fix this page and make it look pretty later on. All right, so go ahead and highlight this function and command forward slash will comment it out on most text editors. Um, one thing we're gonna need to do is import a generic view. So what I want you to do is up here under shortcuts do um, from Django dot views dot uh, generic import detail view. All right. Now we're going to create a class down here. We're going to class and we're going to call it tutorial series. Remember classes should be in a uh, camel case detail view and we're going to say detail view as our argument here. All right. Basically we're indicating this is a subclass of the detail view saying, Hey, this is what we want to use as detail view view. Our next uh, requirement is going to be our model. What what model are we using? We're going to say model and we're going to say we're using tutorial series model. All right. And then down here, down here, we're going to define a function. So like I said before, all views are functions, right? All right. There we go. Define. And we're going to say get context underscore data. And this is how we get our objects from the database. All right, we're going to say self, and then we're going to give it a keyword args. So for you guys that are not familiar what keyword args is, it allows us to um, pass any number of um, uh, keyword arguments. So we're not, if we just put like uh, some variable here, like dog, all right, we can't just, we would be stuck to passing one argument. But if we go ahead and do uh, asterisk, asterisk, oops, gotta get rid of dog, asterisk, 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 get, uh, keyword args, we can pass as many as we want. So you'll see this a lot in Django. Anyhow, let's get continue on with writing our function, uh, return, and we're gonna do context is equal to super, and we're gonna give our, um, our view, our class view, so tutorial series detail view, and I'm going to say comma self, and then we're going to say get context, get context data, and then we're just going to go throw our uh, asterisk asterisk keyword args in here, and then we're going to come down and uh, just return context. All right. So what this is going to do right here is going to go ahead and get our um, objects from tutorial series all right and since this is a um um what was i gonna say a uh, a detail view that's what i was trying to look for um we're gonna go ahead and pass our slug into here get context data all right so we're going to get our model and this is passing the slug and that's how we decipher which object we're getting because it's coming from the urls Got it? Good. All right. So that is set up for our class-based view. Um, we'll cover class-based views more in a future tutorial, but for now, this is just a basic detail view. Now go to your tutorials urls.py, um, and what we're going to do is we're going to create a uh, new URL here, and you'll see why we have to create a new URL. Um, Let's do URL, and I'm going to show you another way to write um, a URLs too. Uh, we can specify like regrets like this. Maybe a little easier for you beginners to understand. Like, hey, this is a regex. 
All right, and then next one is our view, and we can kind of set the arguments. So we'll just do, uh, actually, we're just going to, let's just copy this right here. So I don't have to write this out again. Paste that in, and then we're going to do comma, and then again, do view is equal to views dot tutorial series detail view, all right, because that's the name of our class view. And then we're going to say period as underscore view function all right that's how it displays a class based view and then we're going to do name the same thing as above here so let's we'll copy that all right and comma after this now for this to work we need to go ahead and comment this out because it's going to go look for tutorial series detail but we commented that out now we should when we go refresh see the same exact thing that we have there already should um, what did I do wrong oh no we didn't do anything wrong it's just being slow. Boom. All right. So this is a class-based view. All right. Cool. Looks no different, right? <clears throat> so what do you gain from this tutorial series? Well, uh, class-based views might be a little bit more confusing because when I read through a function-based view, it's easy to say, all right, I got a function view. This is going to be the view that's returned when the user goes to a certain URL. Um, and that's going to be the request. And then um, that URL is going to contain a slug. So when the user goes there, they, the uh, Django is going to know exactly which object I'm looking for. So I'll just create a, um, a query set that uses get object 404. And this is the model I want you to look in. And I want you to decipher uh, which object in that model by finding the slug. All right, cool. Then you come down to class-based views. All right, cool. I can you know declare the uh, model in tutorial series. So that's kind of like up here, right? And then it comes to this define get context data stuff. And when you start throwing self and keyword args in there, people kind of tend to stay away unless you're an advanced Python uh, developer. Um, so um, self would be this class up here. Keyword args, we can pass as many keyword args as we want, but in our case, it's just gonna be slug. All right, because that's coming from our URLs up here, slug. All right, then we're gonna come down and say, hey, context, you super, Go to this detail view we have right here in the class. Look for that model right here, models.tutorial series. Um, then we're going to say get context, throw in our keyword args, which is going to be our slug, and find that slug and then return the context. Okay. Um, so, which one's easier? Which one's better? Uh, you got me. All right. I say use the one that's easier for you, okay? Uh, in the next tutorial, we're going to go and add down here um, one thing that I kept out for this tutorial is something. I kept something out. Hold on. Um, I don't remember what I left out. I left something out. But after in the next tutorial, we're going to go ahead and add our lessons below here. So we have like a list of lessons. And then that's when uh, class-based views and function-based views are going to start to look uh, a little different to you, how we handle it, okay? Um, so uh, once again, I'll show you the change in a function-based view, but we're not actually going to look at it in a function-based view, but I'll show you the content that we put in there. But we're going to do it in a uh, class-based view. So if you have any questions, please let me know. Otherwise, see you in the next tutorial where we add lessons to our detail page. And we'll continue on. Have a nice day.